It was Anderson after all. That's right, the man who went by SIGN during Operation Snake Eater. Following Zero's disappearance, he's taken over command of Cypher. Well, to be precise, the AI he oversees has. The idea to have an AI act for Zero came about in 74, when the data from the mammal pod penetrated NORAD. Clearly, an AI couldn't be allowed to make its own decisions. So they would take away its ability to act, and instead, create a specialized system in which the AI, bound by specific rules, filters the massive amounts of data it collects before passing it on to people, subtly guiding their decision-making. A system of the people, by the people, for the people. So they began researching how to do it. DARPA apparently brought Strangelove on board to head it up. She was forced oh out after a certain incident. The direction of the project and any trace of her existence was scrubbed after her departure. Before Zero lost consciousness as his condition worsened, he left instructions for Anderson. Through a cutout, of course. Zero went out of his way to hide your location in order to keep you safe. This meant sacrificing his own protection. It was the only way to ensure you could stand alone as your own man. Here I am. The only link between you and the world that's passing Boss, you by. Will you train with me? I'm your last connection now. This was Zero's last request. His will. Once you're awake, we need to discuss the best way to ensure your safety. Oh, and they've got a name for Anderson's AI project. It's called The Patriots. It's all about ensuring that the concepts driving society appears the same in the mind of each person in that society about maintaining the identity of the individual, and yet having that individual willingly make up part of the whole. I guess it's fitting to call that patriotism, creating a united world. Zero's will is already fading into a shadow of what it once was. Systems, guidelines, rules, laws. When you take a mentality and fix it in a solid shape, put it out there in the hands of people, it can only begin to decay. No mentality can last forever. When the body dies, the will dies with it. You have arrived at your destination. Roger. This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Please specify a project. This is B-Quad. On station at LZ. Boss, if you need supplies, let us know. Support helicopter has arrived. I suppose the cuffs have gotten a bit loose. Although, truth be told, I have been spending more time in pajamas as of late. Please, no caution. Nothing is. A tie, perhaps. Not the most fashionable pattern, I admit. No, it is very nice. How sweet. Will you take a little brandy? Uh, You're hardly under age, after all. No, thank you. Hmm. Please, sit. Hmm. Pacifica Ocean. What? Ah, yes. You've already begun. Hmm. <sighs> Not bad. A schoolgirl through and through. Even he won't suspect otherwise. Here you are. Thank you. I 
heard you were sick? Poppycock. I just like to take a little time off work. You? You must feel that way sometimes. Well... <laughs> anyway, I could hardly greet my first guest from that damned bed. I, uh, missed my chance to catch you snoring. <laughs> now I'm twice as glad I got project. ready in time. Drink, before it gets cold. English breakfast tea. All I have, I'm afraid. Hmm. There were eight candidates before you, meaning you will be the ninth Paz Ortega Andrade. What happened to the others? They're in the next room. They've been taking it easy these past few months. They... Do you see any windows here? No. I've gotten used to it, this life. I am who I am, after all. And I've had my fill of cursing this bloody dungeon. Excuse me. But I can't help sometimes. Wishing I could see the stars. What should I do? Well, you... You could go outside? Go up to the roof? Wait for the clouds to pass? You would have a view of Manhattan. And a pretty one, too. But once the wind blows, and the clouds pass. You can look up and see a sky full of stars. Even here. You've had a hard time getting to where you are. Ye yes Sewer rats lead better lives. I know. Extreme training. Starvation. Days spent without sleep. Abandoned. Hurt and all but killed in every way imaginable. Some of your compatriots died. Others betrayed you, left you for dead. And you did the same to them. But through it all, you survived. And you alone made it here. Just look at you. I can see everything you've been through. Yes. Consider this mission a reward for the mountain you've climbed. Thank you. Yes, well, you know what's next. Yes. And you are prepared? Yes. I believe you. That ever so slight tan. Not the type you'd get on the west coast. If I didn't know better, I'd say you really did grow up around the equator. But it runs deeper than that. One look at you, and I see a wide-eyed student yearning for peace. Born and raised in Central America. I can see it all. How much preparation have you done? A little. You'll be perfect for this, to strike back at Snake. I'll share everything I know about him. <gasps> but you mustn't forget who you're dealing with. If he were to get the better of you, you well, I deeply points. regret having put you in that position. But beyond that, I'm putting my life in your hands. You can trust me, oh. Cypher. Hm. None of my friends call me that. Boss, thank you for saving us, Adam. Tea's gone cold. Shall I make some more? I know we are the only ones here. Hmm. Give us a development order, boss. There is no one in the other room. And how do you know that? You said I was your first guest. Oh, I haven't had this much fun in quite a while. Boss. All right, then. Cypher's been in hiding ever since his grand experiment. No one's seen him in years. All we hear are orders delivered by proxy. Except you. Thank you for taking in those animals, boss. Roger. 